And two more than took part in the Gold Cup. Bedtime boys, Joe Docker, 33 to 1. Boney Arrow, Jamie Cobb, 25. Bosham Mill, Tom O'Brien, 20 to 1. Bothanar, 14 to 1. And Camden Carrick, 100 to 1 for Nick Phillips. Six has caught time, uh, Tim Weston, uh, and he's at a 40 to 1. Carbrest, James Snowden on 11 to 1. Eight is cracking down, Michael Miller on 25s. Nine double age, 150 to 1, Harry Fowler. And drum bag, John Thomas McNamara, 5 to 1. Number 11 is first down Jets for Willie Burke. He is at 66. Is Foley Pleasant, who should run well. Richard Burton, 8 to 1. Gatsby, Julian Pritchard at 50s. Harbour Pilot, who's got four in gold cups, as you just heard from Alistair, three to one favourite. And it looked at Sam Whaley Cohen at 81. Joe Blake, Marco Hares, number 16. Kestick, Tabitha Cave, 80 to one. No retreat. William Hill, 40 to one. For 19 rear gem, 14 to one for Will Biddick. And number 20, Sabati, Mr. William Rankin, 25 to one. 21 Swincombe, Andrew Hickman at 80 to 1. Tel Moss is a 14 to 1 shot with Rose Davison on board. Finney Boy, 100 to 1 for Polly Gundry. And Why So Mayo, Damien Murphy, you can have him at 20s. Seven favourites and 27 runnings over three and a quarter miles of one. This Harbour Pilot, that's the eye catcher. Burling to Bertie has touched a three to one chance. Also, rare gem number 19. 28 was Dan James this morning into 14 on the course. Also, Foley Pleasant very well backed. Female on these changes. Harbour Pilot and Foley Pleasant are positive, and Telly Moss is the drifter. Pull another bit. Okay. Well, most of these looked well as you'd expect, but John Begg just got the nod for us. And coming down for Simon Bothnarna, Matarna. <laughs> Go on, Ted, improve his Gaelic. Come on, <laughs> how do you pronounce it? You've been giving Borna. me stick. Borna. What? Borna. That, you, Borna. Your, your eyesight must be shot good to pieces. Borna's that was road. No. Borna's road. Well, we'll argue over that, that one quite later. Well, you guys can get Thierry Henry out of Terry Henry. And you get bought. Here we go, they're away for the Christie's Fox Hunters. Massive field here, going towards the first over the Gold Cup course and distance. And in the pink jacket, Boney Arrow on the far side, Harbour Pilot in the firing line, and Camden Carrick in the red and white jacket. And Boney Arrow is down at the first, uh, and Hampers Cabrithis and also Drumbiug is uh, hampered at the first as well. Boney Arrow's rider on the deck there, Jamie Codd, as they jump the second fence. Uh, this one they negotiate safely, Swincombe at the back, and it's uh, Camden Carrick that leads to rear gem now wide of Harbour Pilot and Bosom Mill in fourth place, six lengths back to the grey bedtime boys, then Joe Blake and Gatsby, followed by Quarter Dawn and Vinnie Boy, and no retreat wide of Cracking Dawn and Cabrithis, and then uh, on the inside, Irolute from Wiseau Mayo. Further back is Bova Nur and uh, also Kestig Drumbiug out wide. And then double orange towards the back with Savati as they jump the next fence. Folly Pleasant first down Jets and Telly Moss and Swincombe is beginning to tail off. Uh, the screens are up round the stricken rider on the landing side of the first fence, Jamie Codd. Meanwhile, they jump the water jump. And this one, they're safely over. They've got an open ditch to come. And in the red, white sleeves, Camden Carrig. On the right is Harbour Pilot. On the left is Rear Jim. And they're followed by Boz and Mill and the Grey Gatsby. Uh, Why so Mayo? And then Drumby Gulf wide in the green and gold hoops of J.P. McManus in the headgear. Followed by a grey bedtime boys, no retreat and double ange. And then uh, Joe Blake in a red cap towards the running rail. Cabrithis is further back with Kestick as now they run towards this next open ditch. Camden Carrig leading the way. Harbour Pilot on the right as they take this ditch. And Harbour Pilot, how great recovery by Nina Carberry there. Uh, pitched badly on landing. Nina nearly had both feet the same side of the uh, saddle there. And uh, she could easily have gone there as they jump this next plane one, Camden Carrick. Harbour Pilot's always had a, a tendency to clout one. Let's have a quick look at it again. They have pitched on landing. Oh, she could easily have gone. And there's a round of applause from the crowd. They've been watching that on the big screen. As Camden Carrick leads them to the next. Harbour Pilot on the right. The grey Gatsby getting handy now with Bosom Mill and Rare Jim. And uh, then uh, Irolute, the orange sleeves on the far side, Joe Blake, Cabrithis, Drumbiug, and Bedtime's boys, Bova up the inside as they race down to the next. 
and it's Gatsby that just took over. Why so Mayo? A very bad mistake on the left there in the striped jacket. Now the checkered flag is out. Um, the uh, arrows are out. I think they're going to be bypassing this next fence because Jamie Codd is still being attended to by the paramedics on the landing side. So they're going to race wide up the straight here. And it's Camden Carrick that leads Gatsby and Harbour Pilot. Bosom Mill is close up in fourth. Then Drumbyard going nicely. Cabrithis over on the inside. Rare Gem, Joe Blake and Bedtime Boys from Irolute. Folly Pleasant is making headway. Second last year, Bob and Nur and no retreat wide with Kestick and Wiseau Mayo as they take the next. Further back, quarter Dawn with first down Jets and then Telemos from Savati and Vinnie Boy. Double Ange is uh, well back, cracking Dawn being driven along and Swincombe remains last. So they've got to go around and do it all again in the Christie's Fox Hunters. And up ahead, it's still Camden Carrick that shows the way in the red and white jacket. Camden Carrick and Nick Phillips leading. Gatsby on the outside under Julian Pritchard, former point-to-point -point champion rider. On the right, harbour pilot Nina Carberry, who made that tremendous recovery earlier on, uh, uh, followed by Drumbiug. Harbour pilot just pushed along on landing there. The white face Wiseau Mayo on the left moves well. Kestick, a uh, Bosom Mill in the centre, in the black with the stars, and then bedtime boys behind them with Rare Gem. Lots in with chances at this stage. Bob Nur, mistake by Rare Gem at the water. No retreat over on the far side in the quarter jacket as they go to this next open ditch. Gatsby lifts off in front there from Camden Carey. And they're all safely over. And uh, a very slow jump at the back by one of them. It looks as though it's going to be pulled up. And that is cracking dawn. Meanwhile, they clear the next. And Harbour Pilot's coming under pressure. Doesn't look promising for Nina Carberry. Gatsby leads the way to Bosom Mill. Why so Mayo on the outside. Cabrithis in the green and yellow jacket on the right. Travels nicely at this open ditch. Uh, close up is Kestick and Drumbiug. And then Joe Blake uh, towards the wide outside. Rare Gem from No Retreat. Bedtime Boys and Camden Carrick and Irolute on the right. And these are followed by Old Telemos as they jump this next plane fence. And uh, the leaders over there is Harbour a pilot really toiling so four fences left to jump from here and uh, well there could be uh, 8 10 12 in with a chance Gatsby on the inside of Bosom Mill and Wiseau Mayo rare gem just in behind them is Kestick this is the fourth last Gatsby lifts off just ahead Bosom Mill a sprawling mistake Wiseau Mayo Joe Blake going well towards the outside Bova Nur now red sleeves getting into it on the near side going strongly with Kestick in behind them Drumbiug as well. Double Ange has been pulled up. Down to the third last. Uh, pulling up to Swinkham. Over three out. Why so Mayo jump to the right. Bob Anur is on its outside going well. Gatsby, Bosom Mill. In behind them is uh, Kestig. Drumbiug under pressure. Rare gem. Joe Blake with a chance on the left. The white face of Varty coming there with a bit of a run as well as they round the final turn. And it's Why so Mayo that leads them in. Gatsby, Kestig on the far side. Bob Anur, Joe Blake. First down. Jets is one that's improved as well. Then Bosom Mill over two out. Why so Mayo landed just ahead of Bova Nur. And then on the near side in the red cap is Joe Blake on the far side. Red Gem. And then first down Jets and Zavati. Here's the final fence. Why so Mayo and Bova Nur. Joe Blake first down Jets far side. Then Red Gem and Zavati followed by Gatsby and Telemos. Why so Mayo is holding all comers. First down Jets is chasing hard. Then Joe Blake up towards the line. And it's Why so Mayo that holds on to prevail. Why so Mao and Damian Murphy beats uh, first down Jets. Joe Blake in third, tight four between Savati and Bova Nur. Then Telemos and Rare Gem and Gatsby and Drumbiug, followed by Bedtime Boys, Bosom Mill, No Retreat and Vinnie Boy, Cabrithis who's faded, Foley Pleasant and Camden Carrigan and Irolute. A harbour pilot well beaten in the end with Court at Dawn. And one that pulled up was Double Ange. Why so Mayo? Yet another Irish trained winner at this Cheltenham Festival. Ray Hurley, the trainer. Damien Murphy, the rider. Why so Mayo? Uh, Damien had uh, this uh, gelding out of trouble on the outside. Had a clear run. It was a packing field from a long way out here. There were plenty of challengers going to the final fence and on the running as well. First down Jets and also Joe Blake giving chase. But his horse has kept going very gamely indeed. Damien, absolutely outstanding. That is just having his photo taken on St. Patrick's Day.
talk us, tell us about that. Minutes. Come on, walk around here. Come Thank on, big fella. I always do I gave him a serious chance. Yeah. But his jumping was always a bit suspect. Yeah. And I said if he puts his jumping together, I gave him a serious chance. And so I was cantering in that first turn, and he unseats me at the third last. Yeah. But he was super there. What was it like out there today? Looked a bit rough. You kept way towards the outside. He kept wide. Yeah. I said, leave him see his fences. Yeah. He was super. He was super. Now you've had an Irish winner of the Gold Cup, an Irish winner of the Amateurs Gold Cup. This is going to be some walk back for you, isn't it? Yeah. Enjoy this moment. And well done, both Thank of you. you. Let's give him a big pat. Well done, big fella. This is your moment. Yes. Edward and Kathleen O'Driscoll, yes. who I believe bred and own this horse you and have just been. Horse. And, and I had him all the time. He's given us wonderful pleasure because he's a little horse with a huge heart. Ray, here's the trainer and a great, a great young trainer. Show them what a great young trainer. Yeah, well, what, what a horse. Yeah. <laughs> what a horse. I've not seen this many shamrocks in a long time. What was it like? Oh, it was nerve wracking. But like, we, always, we always knew he was good enough, you know? We always knew he was good enough. Um, and it just didn't go right for maybe in Leopardstown there the day the, the day the Hennessy. But we always knew we had a horse good enough. It was just to get him here. He wasn't over raced this year. He wasn't put back in training that early. Um, and this has been his target with, with a year, you know. So nearly another gold cup as far as you're concerned. Oh, this is this is it. Yeah, this is the main. <laughs> and what about the ride he was given? Damien just gave him a brilliant ride. I mean, he Damien has his own way of riding the horse and his own his own way of getting him to jump and. He does it brilliantly. When it comes off, it's brilliant, you know. Go and enjoy I'm it. speechless, you know. <laughs> no, you're not. You're doing well. Well done. <laughs> oh, tremendous. Tremendous. Look, right at every step with his horse. <laughs> it means as much to these guys as the Gold Cup did a moment ago to Michael O'Leary and to Mouse Morris. Great ride by Damien Murphy. Great ride by him. And uh, this old horse has done it well. He was chancy enough in a few of his laps. He's never put a foot to wrong today. Jump super. Came There's lovely fences here, and he took him on and jumped yeah. super. And uh, the second horse is trained up by Willie Mullins there, Boherna, Kevin Power, great run as well too. Old Joe Blake ran well, and the first on the far side for Coleman Sweeney has run an absolute cracker as well. The Irish hunters usually were not as good as this, but these horses have all run absolute crackers here. And uh, first down Jets, uh, Coleman Sweeney, he's run an absolute cracker. There's not between, much between these horses at home when you see him in Hunter's Chases, a good lap here or there. And these lads have all ridden well. I mean, these are all amateurs you see riding in pint of pints, but strong and stylish John. I mean, Damien Murphy is all part of that horse up to the line, stick in the right position, claps out and Coleman Sweeney, who won it last year for... Uh, Paul Nichols, and back in third you have Kevin Power, top class lads, and they get a great kick out of this. Ireland are the first three in the Gold Cup for the first time. They've now got the first three in the Fox Hunters for the first time. Why so Mayo, 14 and 12 generally this morning, only 10 with Coral. They knew, returned the 20 to 1 joint 10th favourite, that Why so Mayo. The runner up first down Jets, must be to do with the New York Jets, that a 66 to 1 chance, first down Jets. Third was Joe Blake at 14 to 1. They sent Harbour Pilot off the 11 to 4 favourite, and Ireland win it for the fifth time. Elegant Lord in 96, the only favourite of the meeting, lovely citizen, attitude adjuster in the 80, ridden by Ted Walsh, of course, oh, and Ellie Ogarty. The fifth Irish Fox Hunters, why so Mayo, 20 to 1. This is just one of the reasons that Nina Carberry is the best lady rider we've seen. This is part instinct, it's part years of training. The recovery on Harbour Pilot. There are very few people on the planet would have stayed on there. But the Carberry family, well, they come out the womb on ponies, and she's just used to it. We'll be back after break. <laughs> 